So if you've ever taken one of those COVID tests, and we know we all have, you know it's kind of gross and uncomfortable to stick that thing up your nose. Now, an alternative, an acute one at that. Itai Hot is about to show you that in some parts of the country, including right here in the Bay Area, people are literally using a walking, sniffing lab to find COVID. It's 9 a.m. and Scarlett, a two-year-old yellow Labrador, is already working her little tail off. Good girl. This is her boss, Liz Johnston. This is her uniform, and this is how she gets paid. They are wonderful workers and they just love their job. That's a good girl. Scarlett and her canine co-worker Rizzo are part of a growing number of dogs who can detect COVID in humans simply by sniffing their socks. We perspirate and sweat through our socks with a very hot sample, so it has a lot of odor on it. Hired by the California Department of Public Health, they've been deployed to classrooms and nursing homes all over the Bay Area essentially serving as walking COVID tests. No need for swabs or even a laboratory. Instead, these labs come to you. Why use dogs? They're um, environmentally friendly, so there's not a lot of trash from that. And why wouldn't you like her running around you instead of someone taking something up your nose? Show me. Dog's sense of smell is estimated to be 10,000 to 100,000 times better than that of humans. Over the years, They've been used to sniff out everything from bombs to illegal drugs and even cancer. They could sniff out a half a teaspoon of an odor in an Olympic sized swimming pool without a problem. They've been trained with a wheel that has a canister attached to the end of each spoke. One of them is stuffed with a used sock that belonged to a person who recently tested positive for COVID. The moment Scarlett and Rizzo think they've detected a positive case, they sit down. Is that it? Right here is where the COVID canister is. I'm going to move it a little bit to my left and let's see if she can find it. That's amazing. She didn't even hesitate. How accurate are they? They're very accurate. Um, on their double blind studies, they were over 95%. Okay. Carol Edwards is the executive director of Early Alert Canines. The company has been training Scarlett and Rizzo almost every day to keep them up to date on all the latest strains. She says not only are they accurate, they can tell if someone has COVID even before it shows up in other tests. But perhaps their biggest advantage is speed. You literally can do 300 people in 30 minutes with a dog. You cannot do that with a 15 minute by next test. After a rough day at work, Scarlett heads home. Let's go. Happy to use her nose to keep that swab out of yours. We'll take that. All right, so we should know that trainers say Scarlett and Rizzo are never in danger of actually getting the virus. The COVID samples are held for at least 24 hours before being used so that there's actually no active virus in those canisters. Good dogs.